SWAT has been a pretty popular series over its four-season run. Now that more seems to be coming for this show in the future, fans are more than happy to learn about the cast behind the scenes. So, stay tuned to today's video as we're going to discuss SWAT cast secrets you didn't know. First up we have, Stephanie Sigmund was a Bond girl. The first cast secret to go over is that Stephanie Sigmund, who plays Captain Jessica Cortez in the series, was actually known for something really crazy before getting the role on SWAT. She was actually a Bond girl years prior. She played Estrella in the film Spectre, a special agent from Mexico who falls in love with Bond. She has a really cool role in the movie and appears in the opening sequence of the film during the Day of the Dead festivities. What a cool secret. Next up, Jay Harrington is a part-time basketball and ice hockey player. Our next cast secret is really interesting. It turns out that Jay Harrington, who plays Deacon on the show, is actually a basketball player and ice hockey player in his free time. He has his very own private basketball league called NBA E-League, and it's made up of only celebrities currently. He's also an amateur ice hockey player in his home city. In the future, he wants to play one of these sports on screen and show off his insane skills in either. And now, Amy Farrington is a guest star. We all know how amazing Amy Farrington is on and off set. She just seems like such a nice person, and that shows with her acting career so far. She plays Detective Piper Lynch in the series, of course, and has actually had many more acting credits going back since 1997. She's only mainly appeared in cameos and only had a few major roles in regular cast. She has a huge CV and clearly can get many cameo jobs now and in the future. Next, Peter Onorati is actually in Goodfellas. One cool thing about some older actors is that they appeared in films before they actually had a promising career. Peter Onorati was actually in Goodfellas back in the day, but only in a very small and unnamed role. Though he didn't get much for the film, it shows just how dedicated he's been to becoming a larger actor and making a career. He's a Florida bookie in the film and was actually one of the first roles he ever had after becoming an actor. What a cool thing to know about. He also said during an interview that he was actually a salesman before making it as an actor, though he said he was very bad at the job and a poor salesman overall. Now, up next is Shamar Moore grew up in many different countries. Shamar Moore is one of the main characters in the show and plays Sergeant Daniel Hondo Harrelson. He's a phenomenal actor and really makes the show what it is most of the time. He revealed that he actually grew up all over the world in interviews years ago. He was born in Oakland. His father is African-American and his mother is French-Canadian. They moved around a bunch during his childhood as his mother was a teacher in Bahrain and Denmark over the years. He then went over to Chicago and settled down. This is where he started his acting career and went to school for it. What a cool life. And finally, we have David Lim was a model in his past. Our final cast secret you didn't know about was that David Lim was actually a model before he made it as an actor. He was a model back in 2019. He appeared in a few commercials around the world, and this job actually allowed his career to happen. He gained some connections in the television industry, and it kick-started his acting career. What a great story, and a nice way to gain a career. Let us know if you knew this. These cast secrets were really awesome. Let us know if you knew any of these, and if there are others to cover. And now, on to some other television news. Now we have NCIS Reveal's first look at Sean Murray's real-life daughter. NCIS has had a very rough patch recently, with basically its entire original cast being gone for many years now, only a few surviving members appear on the show. Some are from early seasons of the series, and only one right now is from the original squad, and that is Special Agent McGee, played by Sean Murray. Gibbs recently left the show and doesn't seem to be returning anytime soon. However, news has come out that some of the original cast members might be coming back for a special episode down the line, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Sean Murray is an original cast member of the show and is still going strong with his character, Special Agent McGee. In this latest episode of NCIS, he takes up a case involving a teenager. The two bond and join forces to stop a string of teenage-based break-ins. This case is solved by the end of the episode, and it's a really cool moment. The actress who plays this teenager is actually Sean Murray's daughter in real life. This is the first time he's ever appeared on screen with her, and she's actually pretty great in this episode. She's only had a small role in a few shows in the past, so this could be a breakout role for her. Since the older cast members have left, McGee seems to be one of the show's main focuses as of late. We recently got to meet his mother-in-law for the first time. It's really cool seeing more about these characters we've been following for over 20 years at this point. Meanwhile, season 19 of NCIS has been as intense as ever. The series recently added a new character to bring in more backstory for Agent Parker, played by Gary Cole. The Foster's alum, Terry Polo, was cast to play Vivian Kolchak, a former FBI agent who was once married to Parker. Learning more about Agent Parker can only be a good thing, as he's had some big shoes to fill as Gibbs replacement. The series also recently and finally crossed over with the newest spin-off in CIS Hawaii. The episode involved Wilmer Valderrama's Nick Torres and Katrina Law's Jessica Knight jetting off to the Aloha State after a key witness escaped. The two teamed up with Vanessa Lachey's Jane Tennant and her team, and it made for a great hour. Next up, did fans actually 
want a second season of Russian Doll. Though the first season ended in such a good way, fans really didn't want to have another season. It seemed almost pointless at the time, as they were content with the way things played out in season 1. However, now that this second season has finally been released, fans are going crazy for it and are more than happy to watch even more of this amazing show in the future. When Russian Doll was released back in 2019, it was easily one of the best comedy series that Netflix had ever released. It did super well and followed a very interesting storyline with Natasha Lyonne at the helm. The story was based upon a time loop crisis for the characters in the show. By the end of the first season, this time loop crisis was averted and things went back to normal. This meant the show was over and there was little room for another season of the show. Then, another season was announced and fans were expecting something new and interesting. Thankfully, this new season delivered for them. It's safe to say that this second season does not repeat its former concept, except that it deals with the matter of time, although that's about all that's safe to say. This is best enjoyed with no spoilers, even revealing which actors play which characters would dent some of the satisfying surprises that appear along the tracks. Nadia is now approaching her 40th birthday and, after the universe trying to f*** with me, as she once succinctly put it, is planning to celebrate with Alan in a more low-key way. It doesn't go to plan. The universe finally found something worse than death, Nadia begins, and we'll leave it there. You should give this new season a shot if you love the first one. Though the second season might not have been needed at all, it really does the job and scratches an itch many Netflix goers might have had recently. So let us know what you thought of this new season of Russian Doll if you've already seen it yourself. And if you haven't been, are you going to watch it yourself? And that's the end of today's video. SWAT and these other television shows are doing super well right now, so hopefully they have long lifetimes on the air and don't get cancelled for no reason. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comment section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye.